Booth and Technicians here today. We're going to be reviewing our custom gaming rigs today. Let's go to the video. A solid PA's rig here. Got in the Phantom 410 mid tower case for the CPU. I have an AMD 6300 6 core. The graphics, it's a Gigabyte 7950. For the cooling for the CPU, it's an H100i. Just the two stock fans mounted on the radiator, and mounted up top, of course. I also have three Cooler Master Sickle Flow blue fans, in case you couldn't tell, mounted in the back on the side, up here, blowing on the hard drive. Blowing, I have a 140 up here, 120 here, blowing through the hard drive bay, under the graphics card, sucked out there, whatever. It's an AS Rock Extreme 3 motherboard. And it's a Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte hard drive for the OS. That's, that's the only hard drive I have. And it's running Windows 7 Pro 64-bit. Let's take the side off here and have a little look inside. Oh, it's just a uh, Corsair 750M PSU. Awesome. <laughs> I know it can be done. <laughs> All right. So the wire management in this case is pretty good. It's a little bit awkward because it's a semi-modular power supply and you had to run everything just through this little grommet right here. And all of the connections for the USB ports and the SATA cables are all just lined up on the bottom of the motherboard. So it's, it's got about almost an inch of clearance in the back for all your wires which is plenty considering how much you know, area you have to work with here we have the eight gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance 1600 megahertz RAM it's two four gig sticks and uh, I have one Asus optical read write drive just the OEM Amazon deal going on so yeah, it's probably way more power than I really need for this, but you know, ever want to upgrade, put another graphics card in there, whatever, be good to go. Here, it's all sitting in a Corsair, three hundred dollar case. The windowed, obviously. Motherboard's a uh, Asus ROG, the Crosshair Five formula. On that, uh, AMD the eighty three fifty, overclocked to a four point seven. It's cooling that as a Corsair H eighty. And I got 8 gigs of BDR3 RAM, obviously, it sits in there. Um, graphics card, F, uh, XFX 7950. Um, all power in it, it's a 1200 watt Ultra X4 power supply. Way overpowered, I know. Um, got some uh, some good fans in there. Got some uh, Rosewell, kind of loud, but they, they do a really good cooling job. Um, got some Cooler Master Sickle Flows. And uh, Blu-ray drive. Right, let's get in here. Um, in here I got my 500 gig storage drive. The Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM. You know I have my uh, Samsung 840 SSD, the 120 gig. Got the Ghost Edition, so it's got the two fans. Got an extra fan on the. You know, the heat spreaders and everything, so it cools off the motherboard a little bit better. Custom mounted the H80 so it's in the front blowing out and not in the back because for some reason this case has an indentation that pushes the this back fan back a little bit farther so I couldn't fit the other fan on there. Um, in total I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fans in this. And uh, uh, cable management's really good in this case. Uh, it's got a little bit over an inch in the back. Um, RG's phenomenal. Fits right in there for the extended. Uh, afraid it wasn't going to fit at first, but, uh, it did. And, uh, have, uh, some extra cabling ready, so whenever I get another 7950 in there, and I'll be able to crossfire and, uh, do some really good gaming. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and cursor slap that like button. Yeah, leave a comment down below and let us know how you like the video. 
and uh, tell us the kind of stuff you'd like to see us do next. All right, guys, we'll see you some other time.